Hey Jules, it's already recording. Hey guys, happy Foodie Friday. I bet you guys thought you'd never see one of these again. So, we have some different Dollar Tree stuff to try. Um, I'm kind of scared about one. I'm not sure how I'll like it, so we're going to try that first. So, I found these veggie meatballs. Um, it says Himalaya Fresh, made with five vegetables and a touch of Indian spices. Um, it is gluten-free, guys. Uh, let's see. Does it give... It doesn't give anything. Yes, it does. Can you tell them some of the nutritional facts right there? So, it's 129 per serving, and the serving is three meatballs. <laughs> and the total fat is 5 grams of 8% fat. Saturated fat is 1 gram, so 0%. Trans fat, 0 G. Cholesterol, 0. Is there sodium, any sugar? 252. There's 2 grams of sugar. The dietary fibers is 2. Total carbohydrates is 20. And the proteins, 2. And it is, the ingredients are vegetables, cabbage, mushroom, onion, carrot, spinach, rice, flour, palm oil. Okay, they don't, they don't care about all that, I don't think. <laughs> um, so it looks like this, guys, when you get it at the Dollar Tree, it's in the freezer section. I am a little scared, and I'm going to tell you why. Number one, I'm thinking that it may be hot because it says that it has Indian spices. Indian spices. But I would not recommend microwaving them, which I did, because look at how they turned out. Not a big fan of that. Um, maybe use your air fryer, um, the oven. And another thing, um, if you were to put sauce on them, just like you would regular meatballs, I'm not doing that because I wanted to give you guys... A honest review of the meatball itself without putting um, anything else so this is what it looks like very hot um, I'm gonna take a bite and then I'm gonna let M I don't like the smell of it Definitely hot. <laughs> Definitely spicy. Very spicy for my liking. It's spicy. Not something I'd buy again. I don't think Em likes it either. <laughs> but if that's something that you guys may like go ahead and try it's definitely a no-go for me um i wouldn't buy them again it doesn't taste like a meatball it just falls right apart and it's very spicy i didn't think it was that spicy oh i do so the next thing we're gonna try guys sorry i brought a tray in the next thing we're gonna try is let me set this over here so i can show you guys um I tried to leave stuff in their boxes. This is Eat Asian Style Beef and Broccoli. Again, I know some of the Asian stuff is spicy, but I wanted to try it for you guys. I'm taking one for the team just so that you guys can know some of the newer things. We did get this on our last haul, um, but I didn't haul it. But you guys may have seen some of this freezer stuff in our walkthrough. So this is what it looks like. Um, there's 260 calories. Um, 
there is 660 milligrams of sodium, I believe. There's 43 total carbohydrate. And I don't think there's any total sugar, 9 grams, including 1 gram of added sugar. So you guys know, and yes, we are fine. Em actually had her blood pressure checked yesterday, and it is good. Um, and it won't hurt to eat something once in a while. So looks like this. I'm going to mix it around. So it looks like spaghetti noodles um, with meat. It looks like onions, maybe green pepper. I don't know. It smells really good. And I am scared because the last thing I thought was nasty. Really good. Mm -hmm. It's really good, guys. It is a little bit spicy, but it's not like, it's more like a pepper type of spice, I feel, than a bad, bad spice. Do you think it's spicy or more like a pepper? It's a little bit spicy. It's not bad. I'd get something like that again. It was good. So, yeah, this ain't bad at all. So the next thing I'm excited to try, this is creamy rigatoni with chicken and broccoli. There's no preservatives. Um, there's 260 calories. The carbohydrates, I can't see. Can you see what it says for carbohydrate? 40 grams and then tell them sugar that's usually the only thing I tell them so this is four grams of sugar and there's no added sugar you guys so this looks really good to me and I know it's not gonna be spicy it's like a chicken alfredo um, you have your cheese your broccoli, and they look like ZD noodles. So let's get a good bite of this so we can tell them how we like it. Make sure you blow on it. Very hot. Mmm, this is really good. This is more of my liking. Very good. Um, I like it. I don't know the bite. No. You didn't like it? I liked it, but I don't want it to Okay. Do you want to put the fork over there? So, those are the three frozen things we got to try for you guys. Now we have some other things. So, the next thing we're going to try is these Good Health Organic Baked Cheese Fries. They're supposed to be hot and spicy. Um, per serving, there's 140 calories. If you want the whole bag, there's 320. Um, there's 340 sodium. There's 15 grams of carbs. There's one gram of sugar. If you have the whole bag, three grams. So that is that. Now we're going to try it. And M is going to fall asleep on us. <laughs> you guys, we have been recording all day, so we are tired. Okay, so it looks like that. They kind of remind me of those potato sticks. Mmm, they're good. I think they're good. I don't think they are hot and spicy. 
Do you think so? I don't think they are. They taste like cheese. I don't taste any hot or spicy. Do you? Maybe a tiny bit, but no, I don't taste anything. Nothing I was major. To it's see if there was any. It's mainly just cheese. Spice. A cheese. Maybe a tiny bit of spice, but it you guys, I can handle it. So that's telling you something. Um so yeah, th I think these are good and they're a good snack. Why not? What the hey? Okay, then I try to take a drink at the each time so I don't get my flavors messed up. Okay, the next thing we're going to try. I got these from my dad. Um, these are fudge covered cookies filled with peanut butter spread. Um, serving size is two cookies. Me and M are just going to split one cookie. There are 300 calories in two cookies. Holy cow. 240 milligrams of salt, 17 grams of sugar, and 17 grams of added sugar. That's a lot. Um, like this, but if it's anything like the mint ones, it's going to taste just like Girl Scout cookies. So that is why I swooped them up because my dad loves peanut butter. So let's see. Let's see what, ooh, they do look like Girl Scout, the Girl Scout uh, peanut butter patties. So it looks like that, guys. I'm going to break it in half. Looks just like that. Okay. Mmm. Tastes really good. Really? Yeah, M took a little, 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 little tiny cookie. bite. Mmm. It's good. Yep. I wish I had a way to wipe my hands. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now, the next taste. We found these. New Fruit Loops Jelly Beans. So we're going to let you guys know if these taste like Fruit Loops. Um, these be good to go in your kids' Easter baskets because they are jelly beans. Okay, let's see. Try an orange. I'll try a blue. No fat. Oh, they do taste like Fruit Loops. 24 grams of sugar, 34, no, 24 grams added. I don't know what the serving size is, guys, because I peared it off. I don't want no more. You're not going to try every one? No. They taste just like fruit loops. I think they're all going to taste the same. Oh, my God. These would get me in trouble. It's just like eating a Fruit Loop. I'm just trying to be good. I'm over here being naughty. So, yeah, you guys, those really taste like Fruit Loops. So, that's it, guys. That is our Foodie Friday. I'm not going to say that we're going to do a Foodie Friday every single Friday because our Dollar Tree really hasn't had a lot of newer things. And we don't have a freezer in our closest store. We actually went away um, and was able to get them. So we may not do it every single Friday, 
but if we find something new that we can case, we will. Um, I know I told you guys that we were going to do the dollar store um, protein pancakes. I'm going to do that on a video by itself, I think. That way you guys can see how it cooks because I'm going to use M's waffle maker just to see how it cooks and all that. So that video will be coming at some point. With that being said, we hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Remember to stay safe, be kind, and be blessed. And me or M or both of us will catch you guys in the next video. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.